What's up guys, Abhay here. Blender geometry nodes getting powerful day by day. Now Blender 3.0 Alpha has introduced simulation nodes in geometry nodes. In this tutorial, I'll show you the basic setup. If you want to follow along, download Blender 3.0 Alpha experimental branch, link in the description. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna create a new node tree and if I go into the add menu and see there is a new node entry called simulation. So I'm gonna create the node input, uh, simulation input and simulation output. And uh, whatever you do between these two nodes will happen again and again and again. Because this is not normal nodes that you create in geometry nodes. This is uh, kind of like simulate. Uh, so these are like loops or buffers that you you know you, it lets you access the previous frames data and do stuff here it, it's basically doing this it goes then it do this and then it just keeps happening i'm gonna undo it and let's connect this geometry to geometry and um and quick disclaimer i don't really know how this uh, works uh, but as far as I understood what I saw from the Jack's look uh, node setup that he shared on Twitter I did some test and I came up with my own theory that th this is how it should work But uh, it's nothing official. Okay, so these are all my interpretation how this is working so so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to disconnect this groups input and I will connect the simulation output to group output and uh, let's see if we connect the group input to geometry okay now what will happen is I'm gonna set this to run and we'll go to the first frame because it's frame dependent it calculates uh, based on what's the data on the previous frame so it's very important that you go from the beginning of the timeline okay now if I just play the timeline you will see nothing is happening okay and to not go backward always you need to go always forward frame by frame okay so now we do something here and it will happen again and again so let's say if I just uh, move the position of the cube just a tiny bit in in x axis let's see what happens so when I do that uh, it just cube moves in the x axis I'm not going to talk about this cube let's talk about some particle stuff so just going to okay let's keep it open and uh, let's create a particle so for particle I will just create a, a a point node so let's create a points node and we have we cannot do this here we have to connect it between these two nodes so uh let's create a join geometry and we'll connect this here and if i go to the first frame okay you see our scene has reset now we have a particle a point in the in the middle in the scene uh, instead of the cube because we have disconnected it and we have added a point now we can do the same stuff here so if i just move this particle point one unit you will see it will create a lot of particles it's instancing like it's instancing particles but it's not instancing it's a different thing you can think of it as a like a particle system a particle emitter so it's emitting particles okay so so if i manipulate this using the noise texture it should move uh, in a random way random pattern way i don't know how to call it so let's just go and create it so you can create the noise texture and uh, do all sort of stuff but i'm going to import my asset uh, which i used to randomize properties so i'm just going to open that use a library easy noise and this easy noise is basically a wrapper of noise texture that's all and we do, did the same stuff that we do all the time so i'm just going to get out and let's just connect this to offset and see what happens so it's not because it's not working because we have to animate the time so let's create a scene time 
I'm gonna connect the seconds to time and you can see something starts happening I'm going to pass the position here so position and this is what's happening I'm gonna turn the scale down to something like 0.2 and you can see uh, it's emitting particles so before moving ahead let's uh, let's delete those particles that we don't need that we that gets outside the scene or maybe it's a uh, less than a certain radius it should disappear and if you want to know how many particles uh, how many points in your scene just simply uh, see here it's 143 or something okay so how can we uh, delete the, uh, the delete the particles simply use the delete geometry node but we need to specify some conditions so first we'll set the radius to as the particle ages it should its radius should shrink and uh, then if the particle has reached at a certain radius it should get deleted so we can use a set radius node here set point radius and let's create the radius node so just like the set position node if we manipulate the radius let's say we subtract the radius just a tiny bit it will ultimately become zero and should be this is and then we can delete that so let's add a math node here so i'm gonna add a math and we'll subtract just a tiny bit let's say 0.1 go back and you can see but uh, there is something happening okay so let's use a multiply and set this to one so this is our radius and we'll subtract tiny bit so i'm just gonna say 0.9 and uh it's too much so let's set this to 0.9 and here we go and we can then say that uh, if the radius is less than a certain value let's say 0 0.001 which is very tiny or maybe 0 0.1 we can delete the uh, the points so you can see if it's working or not and let's increase the number of particles here so what i'll do is We'll increase the number of points so let's say five all the points are on the same position so it's not gonna work so we will randomize the position so I'm gonna use the another easy noise here and we'll set this to position and connect the position oh, I think we need the index so I'm gonna create the index and here we have five particles five points let's set this to 100 so if I just increase it you can do you can do this and if I you know connect this seconds to time it will also randomize the position of the points okay and uh, then we go and let's go and let's see what happens if I amplify this or before that I'm just going to increase the scale something like this right so if we set the count to let's say 1000 we have so many particles here now okay so that's the basic idea of this uh, thing that I created and uh, there's nothing special that's all you can play with different settings here but you know that that's that's it for this tutorial so I'm just gonna show you the original file that I created okay so this is the original uh, scene I'm gonna uh, disable the subdivision and smooth and also the uh, voxels so I'm gonna just disable this joint geometry so these are my particles 
and I'm using the same stuff here two easy notes two noise notes two easy noise notes and uh, then I just converted the points to volume then volume to mesh and then apply the material and then combine with the original particles and this is how it looks then I apply a smooth modifier with the value of 20 and uh, this is how it looks and I added a subdivision on top of it so it's more smooth but that's the basic idea I hope you liked the tutorial thank you so much for watching this video I'll see you next time bye bye